step. That's that's one. Uh, that's a better step because I, I feel like they might be even trying to find ways of you know plugging the hole that is homebrew. Yes. Because I mean, why that wouldn't they? That could also be it. We've seen plenty of homebrew uh, come out in the last week or so. They've they've actually shut down a few games that uh, had uh, really vulnerabilities. Yeah, there was a uh, Citizens of Earth or something like that, and they they shut that down because cool. it had a hole, and they're like, you can't sell that right now. All right, so we're going to be going to game one, QD versus Tyroy on Smashville. You know, this is a well, it's always an uphill battle against Bayonetta right now. Um, but what do you think that Mario could do to make this matchup a little less? you know, painstaking. I mean, the way QED plays Mario, he's going to be probably looking for Flood when he can. He's going to be looking for Capes when he can. Which, you know, Flood could come in handy. You know, Bayonetta, hard to gimp, but if you if you can Flood her at the uh, last we can get Oh, the, well, up B. Oh. Unfortunate. Was a good option, but uh, Smashville platform not willing to help him out there. All right, back throw. Are we going to get back a Flood? Throw? Oh, we're going to get a Cape. Ooh, good read from Tyroy, but not quite. Tyroy does like landing a lot with uh, Witch Time because it nullifies the one weakness that she really has, which is the massive landing lag. <laughs> QD's got to be a little bit more careful with these up Because yeah, even, though, be it, even though it is going to get you out of combos, it's putting you in the easiest place in the world for her to combo you. And he's in a position right now where Tyroy really has the liberty to just go in. He doesn't have to be you know, safe. He can take hits right now. Also, I mean, Ty Tyroy at this point, because QED's done it twice so far with the, the up E, he's going to keep that in his pocket. And every so often, if he thinks it's going to drop, he can just tr just not do the combo and see if QED does wind up doing the up E. Yeah, and then, and then it's just free damage. So I wonder if QED's going to wind up sticking with Mario, because that... Or are we going to see the Dawn come out? Or are we going to see the QEDK? Uh -huh. Cute. Cute. QED. Cute EDK. Nope, looks like he's sticking with his guns. Final destination. Uh, Tyroy sticking with his guns. I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tyrone. All right, so Tyroy starting out there with a uh, the guns of the down tilt, which do the most damage out of all the guns. <laughs> they do, uh, I believe, nine or ten damage uh, at full hit. Oh, he's going for he was going for the kill off the side. He's going for the QB special. JT dunks. But already Mario with a whopping 87. This is all standard Bayo stuff. Oh, yeah. Nothing too uh, surprising going on here. QED, QED has been, I think, playing a little bit too aggressively right now. And it's hard, though. If, yeah. you, don't, if you don't play against Bayonet a lot and you're not used to the play style, it's, not only is it hard to, to adjust to that, but it's boring, you know? And it's, it's also hard to practice against, too. Just, just because, like... Y like you don't get a Bayonetta of Tyroy's caliber ever to show, like, just as a friend, like, to hang out with. So it's just, uh, you kind of have to pray that. That's Ooh. why I did a money match against him yesterday, just to kind of experience the, the proper Bayonetta. Oh, yeah, how Bayonetta. did that go, by the way? He, he, he kicked my butt, but it, it, was, uh, it wasn't, like, awful. He tries to go for the gim, but uh, Tyroy anticipates the water and drops down very low. Almost getting hit by the fireball, wow. too. Wow. That barely hit. Now QED's got to be careful. Tyro does have decent rage. And if we've learned anything, it's, it's that Bayonetta with rage can be terrifying. QED does not have a jump. Okay, it's all right now. Too much rage. Yeah, my, it probably would have blinked better if she, if she didn't have rage. But oh, good fireball there. Tyro's being aggressive, okay. and you know, QED is not too far behind right no. now. No, he, he definitely can still take it back. Nope. Unfortunate. Can't can't really oh. uh, get that move. Dodges the head. Bye, Felicia. Still Not quite. Live. You always got to say, though, bye, Felicia. <laughs> Just in, in the hopes that they DI it improperly. Uh, nice back it. air. Nope. That's not going to be it. Bayonetta is, uh, you know, she's she's packing. She's a big big woman. <laughs> she, she is technically she's the largest woman. The, the, booty largest. Packs on, the booty packs on a couple extra pounds. I think she's technically the tallest character in this whole game. She's she's a taller giant. Than zero suit? No, she's taller than Zero Suit. Yeah. In this game. I'm yeah, I mean, even. I don't know in this game, but in general, I mean, oh, in her general, game, she's a course. monster. Oh. Oh, oh good oh. attempt there. And nice kill. Q 
QED actually doing really, really well this match. Yeah, he's he's got to respect that up B, though. Every time Tyra's going to come up, he's either he's either going to up B or grab you. Those are basically his best options, and that might be it. That's yep. it. See, so Tyroy, because he helped Esam develop the, the you know, anti-SDI tech, you'll, you'll notice that now he doesn't try to end the combos as much with, with side, with up B. Mm -hmm. I mentioned this yesterday. Uh, he now focuses more on the side B because you can't really SDI that. Right. And that means you, you still get that up air, and you don't really have to worry about the SDI uh, unlinking, or causing unlinking. All right, looks like I'm up. It was great commentating with you guys. I will hopefully be back later, but I gotta go play a match. See you later, Starbase Fruit. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be joined by QED. Hello.